ready for Australia v Ireland here. Australia in the green and gold today. And Ireland in their white outfits. Quite a crowd built up there just after just watching the end of Japan versus Canada. And uh, Gee, the crowd have gotten behind Japan today. Oh, absolutely. It's been an amazing experience watching people cheer them on. So delighted that they've come so far and uh, brought every capable player of uh, roller derby descent with them. In fact, most of the games we've seen today where there's been a, a significant score difference, the crowd have been getting right behind the underdogs, which is great to see. Absolutely, although I think we're quite partisan here. There's a quite a large I Irish contingent after traveling the challenge. They're all very loud, um, but there's a, a good number of Aussies here as well. We've, we've brought a good number of Aussies with us. And of course, lots, plenty of Australians resident here too, so coming. And we're at the Quad Skate Shop track here at the International Futsal Arena in Birmingham. We've got Australia about to take on Ireland. Australia in the green and gold, Ireland in the white. And they're about, about to start the first jam. I'm Cleverly Crusher. And I'm Bob Quickly. And we'll be with you for this. We have quite a large contingent of fans for each team here. Um, lots of people wearing green, as uh, green is the default colour for the supporters of both teams. That's right, but the Wizards of Odds contingent over one side and the, uh, the Team Ireland contingent down this end. Absolutely, lots of tricolours. It's very lucky for the Irish supporters that St. Patrick's Day is on Monday, so they were able to get flags and bonnets and all of the all of the accoutrements of supporting for very little money, very easily in the pound shop. Brilliant. Australia has formed today. So far, they defeated Germany earlier today, 232 to 12, and Ireland were defeated earlier today by France, 145 to 30. Yep, France turning out to be the strongest, pretty much the strongest team of, the, of this group, the blue group so far. They've won both of their games, beating Germany uh, just a couple of hours ago by quite a large margin. 251 to 14, in fact. This is the Quad Skate Shop Track, uh, Europe's original bricks and mortar roller derby equipment supplier. Quad Roller Skate Shop has the best selection and most stock of any store on the continent. Excellent consultation services only a fellow skater could provide. We've got all your needs covered, and we love this game. We do love this game, and it is heading towards the start of the, of the game. And yes, and just to re reiterate, Australia playing in the green, and Ireland playing in their white away jersey. We are looking at heading towards the, the first whistle of this game. Uh, the officials, officials gathering in the centre of the track, keeping an eye on their watches, ready to start this game. You can see that it's nice to see the skaters on the jam line as well, greeting each other. Absolutely. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but the crowd are very, very vocal for this game. Hopefully they'll stay that way because I like not to be able to hear myself think. Not far now from the start. You can see on the Australian Jammer helmet the uh, seven-pointed star, which is the Federation star, represents the six states of Australia and an extra point for the territories. All of a sudden, wearing that Australian jammer panty right now. And he's through for the jam. And his op opposing number on the Irish team is Raven Buster. And it looks like Oliver Sutton is through the back, first of all. He is lead jammer, but... Oliver Sutton, not lead jammer. Uh, Oliver Sutton has been sent to the box for a back block. So Raven Buster has a power jam. He's not lead jammer. It's going to go the full two minutes. 
He's engaging with the Australian blockers right now. There's a three wall ahead of him. Four wall. Turning to face him there as he is. One more blocker left to get past, and he is three. He scored five points for Team Ireland. That Irish crowd is making us know it. Absolutely, and uh, Raven Buster through for his second scoring pass. Again, one more blocker left to beat, and he's through. That is another grand slam for Raven Buster. The first, the first points on the board for Ireland. They're currently leading by 10 over Australia, yet to score. As all of a sudden rejoins and heads for his initial pass through, and he is through the pack already. In fact, he's already picked, picked up five points. All of a sudden comes from Perth Men's Derby in Western Australia, right on the western coast. And interestingly, it's a 4,000 kilometre journey for Oliver to come and train in Sydney with the Wizards of Oz. That's dedication right there. You can imagine someone from Birmingham travelling to Baghdad for training. That's about the distance you're looking at. This next jam is brought to you by Green Monster Roller Sports. All new, visit us today, grnmnstr.com, greenmonster.com. <laughs> Lieutenant ja Dam on the jam line for Ireland right now. And Irish block is making their way up to the GB BMS pivot line. <laughs> and Lieutenant Dam taking a rampage and through a round for Lee Jam. The Australian jammer is still in the box. Flamin Galar making his way back onto the track from the Roller Derby City penalty box now. Lieutenant Jam picks up his first five points. We've got four blockers from each team on the, on the, on the track right now. And just a confirmation of the final score from the last jam, Canada 3-4-7, Japan 11 points. As Lieutenant Dam pulls the jam after picking up another four points for the Irish. Roller Derby City is Europe's largest supplier of roller derby kit and merch. They'll be bringing you this next jam and they're sponsoring the penalty box on this track. Ireland have taken the early lead in this bout. Australia without a jammer on the track at the moment. All of a sudden he's about to make his way back on. Raven Buster jamming for Ireland. As all of a sudden rejoins the pack and there's a quite a race on. But Raven Buster makes it through first. He's the lead jammer, but we have jammer on jammer action right now. As oh. Raven Buster is overtaken by Oliver Sutton and calls the jam. Great bursts of acceleration from the uh, the jammers on both of these teams so far. Yep, they both have quite a turn of speed. Bearing in mind as well that this is just their second, well, just Ireland's second game of the of the tournament. They've had quite a while to rest. They have still got one more to play. Um, quite a lot of games in this first day. I, I it, last game starts at eight o'clock this evening local it's time. A, it's a big, big day of roller derby. Absolutely. Sausage rolls, number 11. He is Lee Jammer right now, a fellow Tasmanian. Oh, are you from Australia? I didn't know. <laughs> Sausage rolls being taken down by the Irish blockers. Oh, he's made to go right to the back of the pack and start again to get through. Yep, as Raven Buster just keeps going all around, the, all the way around. And he's called and it off. Called it off because I think he spotted that Raven Buster was heading through to score some points and score he did. 
looks like Ireland man still managed to pick up four points in that in that jam. The score at the moment standing at Ireland nine point or Ireland 32 points, Australia nine points. Again, it's all to play for. There is just five minutes gone in this jam. So the next jam is brought to you by GBEMS, the only UK, UK RDA endorsed medical team. Well, all of a sudden, pushing his way through the Irish blockers there now. He's out for lead jammer. And he's really using his extra height. Raven Buster still stuck, be stuck in the pack. He's just escaped for his uh, from his initial pass. He's not your lead jammer. All of a sudden, finished his first scoring pass. He hit it and quit it. He, he took his four points and he pulled it. If you're enjoying listening to the feed, drop us a few dollars. Euros. Quid. Pound. Shekels. Euros. Whatever you got. Use the, love it. use the link on the broadcast page. It's split 50-50 between us and the team's travel funds. And bear in mind that some teams have travelled a very long way to get here. There are teams from Australia, teams from Japan, teams from, us, from Argentina. Massive amount of a dedication to the sport and to their countries. Sausage rolls. He's out in front again. He is being hotly pursued by Raven Buster, but Raven Buster is still having problems in the pack. He's got the speed all right. I don't know how well you can see it on the feed. But you can see some of the Australian non-playing team members around dotted around the track at the moment, mirroring some of the, uh, the calls put out by the bench team. Yep, it is. It can be hard to see your bench. You just get them when you're coming around the fourth corner. So it is always really good to see the signals reflected around the track. The Irish fans yet again in full voice. The score stands at 13 points to Australia, 32 to Ireland. Ireland still have the advantage, but there's not much of advantage there. And it's a scrummy pack. Yeah, Lieutenant Dam is all the way through the pack. And he has a power jam at the moment. The Australian jammer being sent to the box for a track cut. Chance for Lieutenant Dam to extend this lead for Ireland. The Irish block is there doing an effective job of clearing a path through for their jammer. And it looks like we are going to have a jammer switcheroo. Lieutenant Dam on his way to the box for a back block. And now we are being rejoined by Oliver Sutton. So 24 points, the deficit for Australia here right now. And they're gonna do their best during this power jam. Absolutely, 24 points is a fairly easy to pick up on a power jam. I've seen some higher scores on individual jams yet this day. But it's a short one. But the, yeah, very, very short. Lieutenant Dam already back out on the track. Oliver Sutton encountering an Irish four wall. He's picking them off one by one, but he's been taken out and he's forced to recycle back behind the end of the track. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Dam has made it through for his scoring pass. And since both jammers have already been in the box this jam, we do not have a lead jammer. This jam is going to go for the full two minutes, which is another 30 seconds or thereabouts left in this jam. The pack holding up now. Australia trying to bridge Lieutenant Dam back. All of a sudden picks up another four points for the Australians. This is very tight stuff. There is a really close between the teams. It's going to be a really exciting bet. I cannot wait for the next 10 minutes. All of a sudden picking up another four points. And it's a star pass. Ab Norman now holds the, holds the jammer panty. And he has picked up another four points for Team Ireland. Too much excitement for me. Yeah, so still scoring really closely. Yep. Australia there with 12 points for the jam, Ireland with 13. Yep, just pulling away ever so slightly, just 20 points between the teams. And if you are following the action, send us, if you're, if you're having a, a pyjama party in Perth, look us up on Instagram under MRDWC. Send your photos to us, and we may even share them on the feed. Lee Jammer is fuzz for Australia. He is through that pack really, really quickly. Raven Buster jamming for Ireland, not Lee Jammer.
both jammers but, coming around the uh, turns one and two now. Yep, they're very, very close behind, but uh, as far as I can tell, Fuzz was already on his first scoring pass, but he calls when he sees the Irish jammer approaching the back of the pack. Fast Girl Skates, serving skaters of all shapes and sizes since 2007. Visit www.fastgirlskates.com. One of my favourite beards wearing the uh, star panty for the Australian team now. Yeah, there's been some fairly spectacular face foliage over the course of today. We've been hugely impressed by some of the teams. Australia's pretty good again, yep, absolutely that's, fabulous. That's your mum through for Lee Jammer. Is she? Electric, Electric Avenue jamming for Ireland is in hot pursuit, but still half a track between the two jammers. As, as your mum passes out and hits it, quits it on his way to the floor, and he picks up what looks like two points to me. Looks like two to me, and managed to hold Ireland back to for, for no score in that jam. It all adds up. Two points here, two points there. Just... Now there's just 13 points separating the teams. This is going to be a very, very, very close bout. And the crowd are enthralled. They've actually quietened down because they're that excited. It's number 11, Sausage Rolls. Jammy for Australia, Lieutenant Dam wearing the, the jammer panty for Ireland. Sausage Rolls is uh, through, he's a lead jammer. Lieutenant Dam forced to recycle once again. Sausage Rolls is one of these skaters that's really able to put on a, a, a really great burst of speed straight out of the pack. And Lieutenant Dam is through the pack, but he's not your lead jammer. Sausage Roll says four points will do me nicely. And uh, hits it, quits it, and calls the jam. Next jam is going to be brought to you by GBEMS, providers of event, medical cover, and ambulance transport across the UK. And they are here all day with their uh, Team Green. They've all got their own... Uh, Derby names, they're really getting into spirit of the games. Oh, some big hits there coming into the back of the pack again. Yep, Fuzz is jamming for Australia. And Raven Buster for Team Ireland. Raven yep. Buster, a member of the MRDA board. Interesting fact about Team Ireland, if you didn't know, there's three players, including Captain Ab Norman from Plymouth, from Plymouth Roller Girls, which at the time of tryouts was actually all of the eligible skaters in Plymouth Roller Girls. And another star pass to Ab Norman. A great use of uh, passing out those uh, Australian, Australian walls. But look at the narrowing of the scores now. What have we got? 42 and 45. 42 and 45, and there is just 16 minutes left in this bout, this half-hour bout. So it's all to play for. Oh, Again, Australia playing in team are playing in green. Ireland playing in white. Just in case, it is very easy to get confused. You see the Australians making their way up to the GBEMS pivot line. Yep, just two blockers left on the track. And your mum is out as Lee Jammer. Electric Avenue jamming for Ireland, but he's a good half a track behind your mum. I never knew my mum could skate that fast. Flaming Goddard taking a hit there at the front of the pack. The two Australian blockers doing their best to keep that pack moving fast. That was a very solid jam from the Australians there. All of the bouts today are just 30-minute bouts with no timeouts and no official reviews. These 30-minute bouts are determining the starting order for tomorrow's full-length bouts, which will determine the placings for all five of the trophies on order. That's right, and in this group is the blue group. It is France, Germany, Australia, and Ireland. So at the moment, Ireland trying for an upset. upset. Sausage rolls around the outside. Yeah, Sausage Rolls picking up lead jammer there. Ab Norman wearing the star for Ireland. 
And Sausage Rolls is almost back on that Irish pack before they know where he is. That was some amazing skating from Sausage Rolls to get through that pack so quickly. And he's out again. He has picked up five points right, for the Aussies. It looks like we're going to have a lead change looking at that scoreboard. And the Australians in the crowd, very, very happy, as are those of you at home in your PJs watching on the feed. And he's called off the jam, taking another bunch of points there. I'm going to be watching this scoreboard carefully. Looks like not quite a lead change. Australia on 48 points, Ireland on 54. Skater Blue Streak with Fast Girl Skates, designers of the Blue Streak boot with unparalleled comfort, fit, style and performance. And we're having an official timeout. Official timeouts can be called in these bouts, but they will not stop the period clock. Exactly. The only reason a period clock will be stopped is for injury. So these are the kind of concessions that are made for the shorter bouts. The other concession is that it will only take four penalties to foul a skater out, not the usual seven. The Men's Roller Derby Association would like to wish all the teams competing in the Men's Roller Derby World Cup the best of luck this weekend. The MRDA is the international governing body for Men's Flat Track Roller Derby and wants you to join them in the growing world of Men's Roller Derby. For more information about joining and the benefits of being part of the MRDA, visit them at mensrollerderbyassociation.com or send inquiries to info at mensrollerderbyassociation.com. And if you are watching on the feed, do tweet us. It's at M or DWC or use the hashtag M or DWC and you might even hear yourself shouted out on the feed. Again, we see the Australians skating up to the GBEMS pivot line to open up the pack for the start of this jam. And Lieutenant Dam spots a hole in the outside and he gets through for lead jammer for Ireland. With only five points in this bout, your mum is skating around the back of the track now and he's going to be doing his best to just limit the damage from this Irish lead. Just two Australian uh, blockers on the, on the track right now, three Irish. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan picks up his points and calls the jam. As I was saying, we do have tweeters here. We are watching our feeds. Tweet your support. Tell us how you're enjoying the Men's Roller Derby World Cup so far. We would absolutely love to hear from you. If you're just joining us, this is Australia versus Ireland at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup Quad Skates Shop Track. Australia in the green and gold, Ireland sporting the white. Raven Buster jumping the apex there to gain lead jammer status. Sausage rolls uh, taking a back block there. I've been noticing that the apex jumps always seem to happen right in front of where the fans are. So uh, Raven Buster jumping right in front of the Irish of the Irish team and massive roar from the from the supporters there. Well, we're lining up now. Just under 11 minutes left in this bout. And there is just one point between the teams. Australia on 54 points, Ireland on 55. I think this is one of the closest games we have seen all day. The crowd are on the edge of their seats. The, the benches are on the edge of their seats. We're all basically... I'm on the edge of my seat. Yep, I'm, I'm fairly sure I won't need my seat for much longer. As Ab Norman, hotly pursued by the Australian jammer, is lead jammer. They are racing neck and neck around the track and it is very, very fast pack that they have to keep up with. The, the Australians keeping things moving, trying to hold off Ab Norman as much as possible so that perhaps Fuzz can catch up with him. There's some serious speed going on from here. Ab Norman passes one skater. No, passes no skaters, but he calls off the jam. That's one of the fastest jams I've seen all day. I'm seeing two fingers held up there by the Irish jam ref. Ah, uh, two. That makes uh, that brings the lead to three points between the teams. This is when not it, much of a margin. When it gets down to taking one or two points and, and quitting, that's when you know you've got a good game of roller derby. Absolutely. Every single one of these points counts, but these ones count more than most. Um, I'm not sure we have an underdog in this particular game. Nope. 
And a bit of a pile up in the pack there. Lieutenant Dam trying his best to stay in bounds, but he heads out of bounds. He is off and on his way to the um, roller derby city penalty box for meanwhile, a minute. Meanwhile, your mum is out on his initial pass, but um, he's got a no pass, no penalty. So there is no lead jammer. So with a minute and a half left on this jam clock, a power jam to Australia. And they've picked up five points. It looks like uh, there could be a lead jam. This, this lead There's, change, this jam. That's right. There's the lead change. As Bob De Quickly smiles a little smile. The Irish wall not making it easy for your mum to get through. No. Irish, Irish boys are very fond of your mum and they like to keep her close, you see. Five-point pass for your mum. Extending the lead a little bit further. Your mum signalling a panty change. He's handing the star on to Spew. Mr Spew now with the star on, and he's picked up five points straight away. As Lieutenant Dam rejoins. There's quite a full pack on the track right now, making hard work for both of the jammers. Lieutenant Dam through on his initial pass. He's not lead jammer. Both of them working hard to get through this traffic. Absolutely. There's four, four very strong uh, jammers on the track. Hard, hard work for all of them. Lieutenant Dam picking up some points there for Ireland. As you still stuck behind the Irish blockers. There's four points for Ireland there. So it takes us to 69 for Australia and 61 for Ireland. One of the closest bouts we've seen here today. Fast Girl Skates offers unparalleled expertise, customer service and fast economical shipping. Visit us at www.fastgirlskates.com for league and military discounts. straight away some jammer on jammer action at the back of that pack straight off the jammer line that's sausage rolls blasting his way through he's the lead jammer and the irish jammer gone to the box power jam for australia a chance to extend that lead Sausage-Rolls going for the outside there, but being blocked by Kian Brennan. But he finds a line on the outside eventually and goes through for five points for Australia. And in the meantime, uh, number 404 for Australia, HP Shelcroft, has hit that four penalty limit and has fouled out of the game, leaving Australia with th 13 on the bench. Flame and Galar mixing up that uh, Irish blocking wall. Land sausage rolls, the easiest path through. And then both teams now with a full complement back on the track. Sausage rolls through for another five point scoring pass. This jam is really, really, really going to count for Australia. The end of this. Raven Buster back on the track for Ireland. He's just finished his initial pass and decides to throw a hit on sausage rolls just for the hell of it. Here's a shout out from the feed for to Croydon Roller Derby. They're watching at home. Hello Croydon Roller Derby. Thank you for watching. And thank you for tweeting. That's right, if you hashtag your tweets, MRDWC, MRDWC, that's right, if you hashtag them or at them to us, we will get them. And if they say something funny, we might say it on air. If they say something nice, we might say it on air. If you're just swearing at us, we're probably not going to read it out. Ab Norman wearing the star for Ireland. He's through, he's lead jammer. Fuzz is still in the pack. He's got two more Irish jammers, two, two more Irish blockers to beat. 
which he does so now. He's not Lee Jammer. As Ab Norman approaches the back of the pack, he has three Australian blockers to get past to pick up some points. Australia managed to pull away quite significantly in the last couple of jams. Both these teams having fairly similar strengths in uh, being able to maintain their walls and communicate uh, their wall positions for their jammers. Absolutely. Um, it's really, really working at the moment for Australia ever so slightly more than Ireland. There are just 42 points between the teams right now. And it looks like we're having a timeout. We may have told you there was no timeouts. But I guess something needs to be discussed. Something needs to be discussed. I can see the penalty, uh, the period clock is still counting down. The officials indicating a timeout awarded to Australia. Fast Girl Skates, their knowledgeable staff, represents all facets of roller derby, WFTDA, USARS, MRDA, JRDA and Banked. They can relate and have what you need. The largest selection on skates and gear for everyone, women, men and juniors. It's about you at Fast Girl Skates. It's about me, oh that's lovely. It's all about you, cleverly Crusher. I like to think so. That's the end of the Australian timeout. Willing to take a minute off the clock, funny enough, <laughs> for a 42-point lead. Lieutenant Dam jamming for Ireland. And sausage rolls around the outside. Number 11 for Australia taking lead jammer. Yes. Australia really starting to dominate. Lieutenant Dam finally out of the pack. He is about a third of a track behind sausage rolls. As Sausage Rolls makes short work of the Irish blockers. He's through, picks up his points and calls off the jam. With the amount of roller derby here today, it's, it's easy to see that uh, some of these skaters are starting to get a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued. I think this is the second game each for the, both of these teams with another game to go after these ones. That's right, and it's... Uh, Australia really starting to pull ahead again. There's a, there's a, even more of a, of a gap between the two teams. Ireland just not getting through, not getting lead jammer quick enough. And that is Fuzz jamming for Australia. He's through the pack once again. Ab Norman struggling behind a wall of Australian blockers. But he is going straight to the penalty box for a back block. This is a chance for Ab Norman to pick up some points for Ireland if he can get past that wall of very solid Australian blockers. Yeah, the Australians have been really strong this weekend so far on uh, cascading and keeping that jammer into the pack. Ab Norman still having trouble getting past. He's uh, recycling once again right back to the to the middle of, of turn three. The Australians are, again, I, I can't say it often enough, they've been really able to put on a turn of speed when their jammers have come out of the pack. Absolutely, and they're able to put in the hard hits where it counts as well. And we're seeing right here in front of us now this, this containment that they're, that they're holding on these opposing jammers absolutely a massive hits and all of a sudden put in a huge hit on Ab Norman and then the teams bridged out so that they could keep on attacking him and just it's like a war of attrition on the on the Irish jammers and so far it is working out very well for Australia seconds left to go in this bout Australia 111 Ireland on 65 coming up straight after this one on the roller derby city track is England versus Sweden We're having time called on this one. So that is Australia with the win. 111 plays 65 over Ireland. Absolutely, that one, it was very, very close for a long while, but Australia just dominant in towards the second half of that bout. And they really made those, those blocks count. They really held out the Irish jammers. Both teams are going for their celebratory holds now. And you see the skaters have been congratulating each other and thanking each other.